to Mob TV. Like play, like play, November 19, 2017, a particular man um, actually left his phone open and the wife saw a text message and that is Mariam Sandra. <laughs> this story started then and um, out of jealousy, so much jealousy, this woman stabbed the husband to death. And the mother helped him, sorry, rather her, and the housemaid also to clean the blood of the man and they like packaged it in a way as though she did not do it. This case was taken to court after police arrested the woman and several investigations and court hearing and things have been going on until January 2020. Now this woman has been sentenced to death by hanging. <laughs> Where did you that is just what's going on viral on facebook on instagram on the social airways on the cyberspace Miriam Sandra sentenced to death for killing the husband. A lot of people are now reacting, saying that if not her, you should not kill yourself. Every little thing about married people push it to the divorce. The way we're celebrating the divorce, this day, I don't. I, I wonder if ladies actually want to get married or men are gay. But they are still the one going to church every Sunday, shouting, "Lord, give me my own husband, give me my own husband." Now he's giving you your own husband, you cannot keep him. But funny enough, let me say this: not because I'm a man. Men are polygamous in nature. It's not an excuse for you to be unfaithful to your wife. Hold it. It is not an excuse. In as much as men are polygamous in nature, but women should understand the fact that they are or we are polygamous in nature. Faithfulness is a thing of discipline. I'm not saying you should accept that your husband is cheating on you, but just have it somewhere at the back of your head that he is dust. And what makes him a great dust is that he is polygamous in nature. Killing your husband, supposedly the father of your own children, just because he cheated, why not leave the marriage and give him the opportunity to be alive and and be a better person. Why kill him? In life you did not create, you were just fast to stab. Jealousy? Oh Lord. How dare you live your emotion, but now you're crying, mommy, mommy, because I'm going to put you, they're going to hang you, and you're crying. Now, you see? Well, when you take decision when you're angry, that will be the worst decisions you're going to regret in your life. So what am I trying to say? I'm saying to you, and I'm talking to myself too. We don't have to take decisions whilst we are very much angry or irritated because uh, even our spoken words our actions we're going to actually regret them when you get angry just calm down because afterwards you take better decisions when you calm miriam said this to death by hanging that's not a good news at all and it's actually dead and marriage by the day and people are just dying i even saw on the social media this morning that um, a guy who went to kidnap four children going to school this morning and um but as he bad night Mobs caught him and stoned him to death. That's another one. Every day the death row is increasing. Why? Oh Lord, have mercy on me. This is getting out of hand. Oh Lord, have mercy on me. I don't know what you think. Whatever you think about such situation, please put down on the comment section below. But women, please, I appeal to you in the name of God or whatever you have, hold high esteem or whatever you worship that you respect. This is a life you did not create. If a man angers you to the point of killing him, please walk away. Walk away. And men, please. And you know, look at a man killing the wife, shooting the wife. That's, it's not making sense at all. If you kill everybody, where will go there now? It's not making sense. My name is Donald and this is Mok TV. Just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So when I post the video, you'll be the first to get alerted. Do not go nowhere. Mok TV.